I've always wanted to build on an iceberg. But I'm not talking any old iceberg base. I'm talking a fully functional and camouflage compound that only I have access to. And to top things off, I'd be building a unique and seriously strong solo base that would withstand what any offline raiders might have to throw at it. I was excited for this wipe and the prospect of making this dream a reality. So let's head back to where this solo journey begins. Hey everybody, how we doing today? Oh man, there's still Christmas presents? <laughs> Hell yeah. As you can see, I'm back playing some Rust console today. It's been a while, I'm not gonna lie. It's been a while since I played on console, but I'm looking forward to it, man. I'm looking forward to it. We've got the electricity update coming out sometime in the near future, and I'm definitely keen to uh, mess with some clans when they don't know how to set up their, their turrets from the get-go. So I'm pretty excited for that. But the plan for today is uh, I want to build on an iceberg. So we're going to head out that way, just see see what the uh, snow is looking like. I haven't actually looked at the map, but as you can see, we're a couple days into this weekly wipe. So there's already people set up and established. I feel like hopefully somewhere up here, but we'll just go, we'll just go check out the area, see what's going on. That is actually enough to buy a Jackie. Actually need a double door for this base that I'm building today. I can make a bow actually. Hell yeah. Well, I'm just really hopeful that there's actually an iceberg <laughs> where I'm heading. So let's go check it out. Wait, how much is low grade here? Oh yeah, worth. So I can get a little furnace down. Yeah, look man, we're like looking decent. One thing that I have really missed about console rust is how fast nighttime goes. There's pretty much nothing you can do at nighttime in this game other than sit in your base and wait for daytime. There we go, feels good. First bag down. So far, things were going pretty smoothly. I'd managed to gather enough components along the road, which after grinding at outpost, allowed me to buy a jackhammer and some low grade for a furnace and also craft a sheet metal door for my starter base. I already had enough loot that I was worried about dying, so I headed straight towards the coast in search of an iceberg, while farming some resources along the way with my newly acquired jackhammer. Ooh, looks promising. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, there's so many, okay. Hell yeah. Oh, there's already a base on that one. Has that decayed though? Okay, I'm gonna stash. Try and find a boat. What the fuck? <laughs> you serious, bro? Okay, the goal here is a boat, which will make life a lot easier. Actually, quite a few boats around here. I'm gonna yoink this one. What is this? Is that unlocked? A what? Oh man. Actually, oh. Hell yeah. I don't know about the skin, but we'll take him. Nice. This is the occupied, occupied iceberg. See what the old neighbors are gonna be like. It doesn't look like they're online, so. Ooh. It's kind of annoying though, it's right, right where I want it. What is that? Is that a base too? I mean, we could jackhammer this out, but let's go suss out that other iceberg first.
I like this little walkway. <laughs> That's kind of sick. Yes. Ah, uh, this is the one. Yeah, this is the one. Oh, it's kind of big too. Hell yeah, dude. I think I'm just going to leave a couple things over here. Just lock, like, put them in a box. Try and be fast. I think it's safer here than it is if I take it back to the mainland. Alright, so we'll... What we're going to do is farm up a bunch of wood. And... Uh, sorry, a bunch of stone. Trade it for wood. And then bring that back. And that way we can lay out the foundations. To be honest though, I think the only way this is going to work is if I set up a little starter base. And I'm thinking over here, near my bag, near Oxums, and then I can just run that road, do train, recycle Oxums, and that's the way to go. So I just need a Jackie, really. I think that's all I need. Let's get to work. See how close we can build here. That's pretty good. everything I can get right now. regular depots today I want to I want some constant progression here to get killed with all my stuff okay let's go back to the harbor snag a blue card and we'll be right back okay not bad Man, this has been flawless so far. I haven't even seen another player yet, I don't think. <laughs> the server's at its quietest point of the day right now, because it's like during the day. But there's still like half pop. Still like 50 people on. Okay, it's night time. That's not gonna stop us. Over to harbor. Definitely looted. What is this abomination? I don't know, but I'm interested. I'm all about free loot today. I mean, I could just chop through this wall, but I'm going to see if I can get in from the top first. Sing. Hell yeah. <laughs> a med syringe? Hey, not bad. Dude, six tech trash? 100 scrap? 20 high qual? Uh, silly boy. That is pretty good. I think we gotta establish our iceberg base because I've left that box <laughs> full of shit over on the iceberg. So it's time for a farm. Oh man, I'm way too loaded. Damn. 
That is a big ass farm. Oh, Alright man, please no door campers. I'm nervous. Let's go straight to the coast. There's dudes up the hill. Pretty close by, really. Man, I, like, I need to get this base established before they notice that I'm building out there too. That can be real trouble if they see me while I'm setting up. Oh man, they can see me <laughs> on their balcony. <laughs> oh. I don't like that. Nice, nice, nice. After just over an hour on the server, I'd made my way out to the iceberg and secured it by putting down the foundations for this tanky solo base. This base design utilized two bunkers that would make life difficult for any raiders, especially if I were offline. But the main appeal of building out here was the idea of completely claiming it as my own. So my plan was to wall off the entire iceberg. For the time being though, I needed to progress by gathering scrap, so I headed back to the mainland to loot the road spawns and run the monuments. Hey Chopper. Man, we already have 650 scrap. That's pretty crazy. That's some pretty good progress for like, what is it, hour and a half? About an hour and 15. Alright, I'll be, I'll be back. Alright, let's do one more comps run real quick. And then we'll go to Outpost. Let's depot that. We'll come back. Oh, the DB. Hell yeah. Could have been worse with the bow. Alright. <laughs> could have been a lot better, but definitely could have been worse. El Churro. And Karen Perales. Oh, dude, nice. What? How are you not dead? <laughs> oh, all the shells. Hey, is that a... Oh, that's a third dude, holy. Man, how many shells are these guys bringing out? Jesus. It's at least a trio. Oh, 
What did I do? Dude, how big is this fucking group, dude? All right, let's get out of here. Jesus. <laughs> I swear I've read like six names. Let's get to Outpost, do a recycle. I don't really want to run the same way back, so we're going to loop around. Maybe try and depot past the iceberg base. Go, go, go. Damn, the guy had a Jackie. I think I missed some stuff, but fuck it, dude. <laughs> just let's get out of here. All right, I think I just run this over. Just swim it. Oh, no, dude. No, dude. I did. He came out of nowhere. Fuck. I was even looking behind me. And I didn't see him. That is. That's pretty unfortunate. That was a decent little run. Damn. Well, we can't dwell for too long. It's about time to go back and try Harbor again. See if we can score that blue card. Oh, hello. Hey, decent. It's just been such like a flawless run up until then. <laughs> so it kind of hurts a little bit more. I have quite a few presents here. Upgrade, upgrade. Ooh. Hell yeah. <laughs> He's got the Remy. <laughs> so good. I should try and work out how close those guys are built because then I can determine if recycling here is actually a feasible option or not. <laughs> it's gonna be just down here, surely. That is definitely them. <laughs> yes. I'm out of here. Get the python. Yeah, man, that guy heard me and he came out straight away. I'm so confused. Those guys have like an established base with a compound and they're running around with eokers. Yeah, that's kind of huge though, the python. Okay, let's, let's go for a little run to train. If I could find like garage door or um, high external stone or wood wall, that would just save me so much time and scrap. So yeah, hopefully we get lucky here. Hopefully it's not looted. No, that's pretty much what I expected though. Yeah, we need wood. Ow.
forgot how AIDS it is to PvP in this game. try and build in if we can't build in we just move on this is the uh, grub essentials kit that I'm currently putting together and some shells all right we're ready my body is ready to get some revenge I assume that's a turret right there yeah let's come back I'm gonna use the ladder, fuck it. I cannot believe this oversight in this guy's base. I mean, probably worth, if I, if I can get the metal home, probably worth for the ladder. Two and a half K metal frags. This is such karma, if I can steal this. <laughs> but those guys killing me while I was farming. It's what you get. Thanks, fellas. Ah, <laughs> uh, so good. It was finally time to start building up the iceberg base, so I took enough scrap to craft a tier 2 workbench outpost and plan to farm some stone along the way to trade for wood. Oh, I'm nervous. wasn't my base, was it? Fuck me, dude. No, man. Fuck's sake. What are you doing? That hurts, man. That's my Jackie. It's all my scrap. That's, that's pretty sad. But what can you do, hey? Just gonna get back on the horse, make sure they don't know where I live. It's all because I heard that satchel and I thought that I was getting raided, so I wanted to come back and check it out. Ah, uh, let's go. I think that's safe, boys. Ah, he's done it. Might as well check a little airlock in here too. It's been a, it's been a pretty good run. We had a bit of a rough patch in the middle, but... Overall, it's been pretty good. The only, only annoying thing, really, is losing all the scrap. Because that's just going to slow my progress so much. But it's fine. So this will be bunker. Do we get Christmas presents out here? or No Christmas presents on the iceberg? Oh, this spot's cool. We have a little lookout over here. Alright, I'm gonna have a break for like 10-15 minutes, wait for night time to pass, which it almost has, 
and then we'll just keep keep grinding trying to get this this compound down when I logged back in, I went to run blue card puzzle at train yard to try and regain some of the scrap that I'd lost earlier. Oh, got it. Nice. Dude, so many <laughs> milli crates. <laughs> Hell yeah, that's a pretty good little run if I can get this home. <laughs> what a sick iceberg. I kind of wish I'd build it at the front here though. Hey, let's go. That's a good run. Man, it's going night time. Oh, actually, I should check that base. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's probably decayed by now. No, it's empty. Ooh. Haha, <laughs> so good. Nice, man. I can yoink that. No way. Ah, oh, dude, so good. And all that ammo too. I don't even have 5-5, five five, like, I need to learn it. I'd collected enough scrap to now craft a tier 2 workbench. And after finding this free garage door in a nearby decaying base, that was the first thing that I did. We can fit this out a bit differently later if we want, we just spawn in here. But for now, that should do the trick. Hell yeah. Oh yeah, we're starting to look pretty uh, pretty secure here. Wacky there. Cool. Front door here, offset bunker here. Okay, that works. Unfortunately, I placed my core too close to the iceberg's edge, so I had to improvise with the offset bunker. For those of you who don't know this bunker, it's designed by a YouTuber called GameLights. I absolutely love his content, and you should definitely check him out and show him some love. Oh man, okay. Well, that, that works. That works. So that'll be my front door entrance, like it'll be sheet metal or, or something. And then all I have to do to get in is build up from here. And then this will be like a jump up. I think it only needs to be two stories higher, probably. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. This could be like a little bit of drop box storage and this will be another loot room. Cool. See, I think I'll seal this all off and then this can be the jump up to the roof. Oh, 
Oh no. There's someone here. actually kind of handy. I needed that wood. Thanks, buddy. I gotta seal off this TC before someone comes and yoinks it the other side of this island. Because if that guy comes back, like, that's what he's coming back for, to grief. 100%. Yeah. Hell yeah. Alright, the bunker works. So just shoot me with that. If anyone wants to like eco raid up into that, then good on them. But yeah, it's been a pretty pretty fun pretty fun day, really. Had some ups and downs. Mainly ups though. I'm just gonna put it out there. Mainly ups. We had one big loss with all that scrap and farm, but for the most part it's been pretty good. But yeah, for now we're gonna log out and um, yeah, hopefully we're alive. So that I can finish what's going to be a pretty awesome, awesome compound base if uh, if I don't get raided while I'm offline. All right, guys, I'm out. I'll see you soon. Uh, yeah. So it's been like four hours. <laughs> I wanted to get back on, do some farming. <laughs> Let's go. Oh man, we're zooming. After that, I filled up my furnaces and actually logged off for the night this time. Yeah, I think we actually survived, what? I wonder if I still have a front door though, that's the only thing. Uh, bunker, bunker. <laughs> we'll send that all back so we can start cooking with it. Man. Kinda loaded. <laughs> Kinda loaded. I don't know how many of these I'm gonna need, man, but I feel like it's gonna be a lot. Uh, okay, let's get moving, man. I got work to do. If we're gonna get this compound down, I gotta be, I gotta be snappy about it. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be so good, dude. <laughs> it's so good. The iceberg compound was finally coming together, but I needed some coffee, so I headed out for about half an hour. Someone tried to raid me, what? Oh shit. That's so fucking weird, man. What are they doing? Man, they came through here and they blew through. They blew through this wall. 
<laughs> with like satchels or something. Uh, so dumb. <laughs> they actually raided through the front door too. Uh, <laughs> and they saw the, uh, the sheet metal roof. So good. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, need a bit more stone. Yes. Ah, oh, he's done it. It's done. It is done. But we got a little farm down. Glorious. <laughs> it's so good. Yeah, this is definitely my favorite base I've ever made. 100%. So, I think my, I think my base might have decayed. I wasn't really planning on being out of play today. Oh, we are starting to decay. <laughs> Lucky the core's all sheet metal. We're actually good. Hell oh, yeah, dude. All right. Hey, what? <laughs> Someone raid through my door. Or did it decay? That's my, that's my TC in there, I think. Yeah, yeah, it must be. Damn. Oh, no! Oh, man. Is that just out of TC range? I'll tell you what, though. This base has survived, like, two offline raid attempts. <laughs> I need to seal this up, though, because that's one wall back into my, like, TC. It's a, it's a pretty strong base. It's deceptively strong with the offset bunker. Dude, that feels so good, like, surviving <laughs> offline raid attempts. <laughs> uh, it's funny as. 
Stole my pumpkins though. Not happy about that. <laughs> this has been a seriously enjoyable wipe, and I was pretty stoked to have been able to wall off this entire iceberg. I hope you all enjoyed the video, and if you did, it'd mean a lot to me if you gave the video a thumbs up. Take it easy, everyone. I'll see you in the next video.